Lawrence, Con. From afar. Potter Lake can sound like some unkempt derelict of a lagoon maybe on the edge of the college town. What with all the goal posts hurled into it in all the news accounts across all the decades. Up close on a pretty fall day, it turns out to be, duh, smack amid the Kansas campus and pretty much right behind the football stadium. Not to mention a picturesque pond for meditating or boosting meditation by hurling in a phone. The old lake didn't look nervous this week. The 113-year-old codger has seen some goalposts before. In a strange country where goalpost chunks sometimes take unwitting tours around college towns on Saturday nights and Sunday mornings, Lake Potter has a chance at another visit from the hardware this weekend, and the fact it does tells much. Kansas State often has been good for a generation, but Kansas almost always hasn't. Now, through the wonders of a mighty three-year building project at Kansas, number 25 Kansas, 7-3, versus number 21 Kansas State, 7-3, rates among the delicacies of the Saturday ahead, even with Kansas perhaps hamstrung to a third-string quarterback. It even figures in the cramped Big 12 title hunt. This rivalry, close in its history, 65-50-5 to Kansas, but not in its recent history, 26-4 to Kansas State since 1993, has achieved relevance so that non-Kansans all around might even learn its rivalry name, the Sunflower Showdown, surely the most fragrant of rivalry names. It also has dredged up an old moral question. At what point in the happy trajectory of a budding program should college students stop upholding the tradition, more than a century old by now, of attacking goalposts? Of all the schools with all the goalposts and all the potential giddiness and all the safety concerns, Kansas is perhaps the ripest for such gleeful vandalism. In the early to mid-1990s, when coach Glenn Mason's Jayhawks won two Aloha Bowls, those became the first bowl wins since that 1961 Blue Bonnet. In 1999, during a 5-7 season, when Kansas beat Lothe, Missouri, 21-0, two weeks after a 50-9 loss to Kansas State, coach Terry Allen said, I'm just glad to see something go into Potter Lake. In the 11 seasons between 2010 and 2020, Kansas went 21-108, with only half the 18 home wins against Power 5 opposition. That gives each win that milestone feel, so that according to news accounts, the goalposts traveled to the lake after the 31-19 win over West Virginia in 2013, the 34-14 win over Iowa State in 2014 and the 24-21 overtime upset of Texas in 2016. For brains addled with college football, it could become a thing to read about Potter Lake and wonder as to the nature of this Potter Lake. Goalposts also made the trip last season after a 37-16 win over Oklahoma State and this year after a 38-33 win against previously unbeaten Oklahoma. By the time the Sooners boarded their bus to leave Kansas, the Oklahoman reported, those fallen goalposts already had been replaced.